Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It is February 15th, 16th. It's Saturday, after, the first Saturday after Thanksgiving. I think that was yesterday. But, um, right now it's like midnight. Um, I went to edit this video that you're about to see and I realized I did make an intro for it. I was like 99% sure I did. I looked for it. Couldn't find it. But the way this phone does that I use for YouTube is it'll say you're recording and like it'll show you 37 seconds. And then when you hit the end button, it'll say not able to capture media. So maybe it said that and I just didn't catch it to re-record re it, re re something it, re do it. So I just cut off the phone and I moved on to the next step. But basically what I did in the first clip was I picked up my pajamas. And something else. I don't know. I think I just picked up my pajamas. That's usually the first thing I do. And I explained that I don't get in the shower every night. I get in the shower every other night. And I don't wash my hair every night. I wash my hair every other night. So yeah. There's that. But enjoy the rest of the video that I actually did record. And that is actually what happened at that time. Not seven hours later. Peace out. Okay. I'm out of the shower. Um, It's... 7.31 is what my alarm clock says, but it's 7.32, so it's only a minute behind, but it'll also go to like three minutes behind, which is pretty confusing, but I'm out of the shower, I ended up having to take a few minutes and look for some shampoo, because I've been out of shampoo for like the past two or three days, and I've been using um, my dad's shampoo, he doesn't use like the manly smell shampoo, he uses a shampoo without a smell, so I just used that, and then I used my conditioner, but I ended up using the rest of his shampoo. So now I need shampoo, and he needs shampoo. But I ended up having to find some, like, old shampoo, which I'm pretty sure was bad for my hair, and using that. And it's the kind that just covers your hair with, like, a greasy layer and everything. Yeah. So, that was fun. But he's going tonight to get me some more shampoo. And I'm super excited because I can go back to my good shampoo. Why is it like... Here we go. Anywho, I can go back to my good shampoo. So. Twisty, twisty. So now what I do is usually I like roam around and just like walk around and pace and everything for like 15 minutes while my hair kind of dries. But usually I'll end up either cleaning my room or doing some school. Um, I'm actually kind of behind in my schoolwork so I think tonight it's just going to be school. Which is boring. But my lips are chapping and like I don't, I don't think you can tell from the outside but like I haven't been like cut on the inside of my lip like in the back and it hurts so bad anyhow yeah so I'm currently doing my social studies which Usually, I kind of enjoy social studies because it's interesting, but right now, it's just getting on my nerves. Alright, so this page took the longest time yesterday because it said get an almanac to find everything, but like, we don't have an almanac, so I just ended up using Google. It was easy to get the leader of like Brazil and Peru and Argentina and Mexico and Colombia and Ecuador, Venezuela, and Panama, but like how they were chosen, it's like hard to find that like a vote, people voted, they got chosen, 
um, how long was I in power for one of them? I couldn't find it whatsoever. And p political parties, I don't even know what that means. So like, I have to ask my dad. Form of government, it's all presidential system. I looked it up and it's just pop up. Blah, 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 presidential system. Click it. And then like, it would tell you about the presidential system. It looks like I have like a booger just chilling on my lip. But it's a temple. So that took the longest time. But I still haven't done political parties. This page is like annoying because it wants me to pick a place on this map to go to. And then I'm supposed to know what it was. I picked Spain, but I might actually end up changing my mind because the first question is name your place and describe three of its physical characteristics. I put Spain and then I looked up physical characteristics and there's mountains like different mountains I'm like that's lame like if I wanted to see a mountain I could literally walk out the front door like I wouldn't want to go to see a mountain oh so yeah I'm picking somewhere else I don't know where to go I don't have my glasses so I can't really see them because the writing is so Small. So yeah. Just put the glasses on, which they're broke, by the way. If you can tell, uh, this one doesn't do it. This one does. So anyhow, I might pick Iran, Saudi Arabia. I might pick Egypt. I don't know. Just, do I have a new chair? Like, it's not new. It used to be my cousin's, but then he gave it to my mom. And my mom used it for the longest time. And then she gave it to me yesterday. And the wheels won't roll, so you just end up scooting. It goes when you scoot. So, it's pretty stupid. But, yeah. Okay, I've been doing seven minutes of me talking about my school and how much I hate it. So. Okay, here's the thing. I love the homeschool program I'm in because it's really easy, but one reason why it's so easy is because I've learned most of this stuff in like 6th grade. And I'm in 12th grade now and I'm getting what I learned in 6th grade. Like, I love the school, the people are really nice, but like, I've learned most of this stuff. It's annoying. I'm gonna do some school while my hair dries.
Alrighty, so it is now 8.38, I can't even see that, 8.38, and I'm done with school, I've got two pages left in social studies, but I'm over it, I'm in a bad mood, so yeah, mainly because of that, my parents would pass like five days to pick me up some shampoo, and they haven't. I go in there and ask help my schoolwork, and they're like giving me the wrong answers, thinking it's funny. Like, it's not. So, what I'm going to do right now, after I do school, I usually just watch YouTube or something. But I think I'm going to watch some Hulu, because... Um, that pimple is getting on my nerves. Like, go away. Anywho... Oh, they all want to find a movie. I can't find anything to watch, which is great. Um, I think I'm just going to watch Five Feet Apart. I watched it a little bit after it went on the theaters because there's a website you can get on and watch stuff. It's a really bad website. The movies and everything freeze within like 30 seconds of being in the movie. So, yeah, but anyhow. I think I'm gonna watch that because I won't have to worry about it freezing and everything. So, yeah, I'm gonna watch Five Feet Apart. I will talk to y'all in an hour and 57 minutes. Well, there's like 10 minutes of like credits and stuff, so like an hour and like 50 minutes. I don't know. Anyways, peace out. Alrighty guys, so it is now, that clock isn't right, whoa, that, whoa, that was the wrong button. It is now 9.12 and um, 13 minutes and 22 seconds into 5 feet apart and I already fixed me some chicken nuggets. I really want some of the uh, Doritos, the spicy chili Doritos, I think is what they're called. But my dad is going to pick my brother up from work and where he works at. They have them for like three dollars. Um, but he's not going in. So and I'm not going because I already got a shower, I'm already in my pajamas. So I'm not going. But I just made me some chicken nuggets. Until tomorrow. I'll go get me some tomorrow. This pours out so slow and I hate it. Like Anywho, so yeah, I'm going to finish watching this. I got an hour and 42 minutes and 47 seconds left. When I finish this, it'll be like 10 something, 11 something. I don't know. It's like, it's nine. It'll be 10 something. So yeah, talk to y'all later. <laughs> Alright, I just finished Five Feet Apart. A really good movie. That's my second time seeing it. It's a time. I don't know what time it is. It's ten fifty-seven. Right now, I need to pick out some um, pick out some clothes for church because we might be going to church in the morning. I doubt it. We don't really go in the mornings. We usually just go at knots. But. Like, I'm just gonna wear that. Like, the pocket looks really bad right now. But, like, once you put it on and you straighten it out, it looks okay. So, I think I'm just gonna wear that. That wasn't that hard. Um. My hanger's about to break. That's fantastic. Um, last time I wore something like this comes a little bit below my knees. Once I last time, which was last Wednesday, that I wore something that came to my knees, I was freezing. My feet was cold. My legs was cold. I was cold. Um. I might try, I have some black leggings, but I haven't worn them in like a really long time. 
so I'm gonna see if these fit and if they do then I'll wear that with black leggings and like I'll get a black jacket or something and I'll wear my black boots but if they don't I'll find something else to wear so these fit I didn't think they would the whole time I was like nah, these ain't gonna fit no way but they do I just don't know how that would look so we'll see in the morning I might end up wearing that but without this pullover with like a jacket um this is the only I can't get it. This is the only black jacket I have. It's got writing on it. But, I mean, like, it zips and I can keep it unzipped and, like, hide the writing. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to wear. I'm going to take these leggings off now and put back on my shorts. And then finish with my routine, nighttime routine. It's my alarm clock. It says it's 11 o'clock. But it's actually, like, 11 to 1, 11 to 2. 11.01. My hair is really frizzy, but it's fine. I'm going to get these off and put on some loose, baggy shorts. Okay, so it's between this dress with this jacket and the black leggings. Or Um, I might do the blue one with like something else besides the black leggings. Leggings, I think on it could have been the arm shirt poking now. It made it look a little funky. You never know me. <laughs> but yeah. So, and some outfits that might not even work. Knowing me in the morning, if we go to church. I'll end up changing it to something that's not even an option. <laughs> but those are my options. Now I'm just gonna clean up my bed because it's a mess. I'm gonna clean it up, get this off because it doesn't go in there. Get this honey wrapper off my phone. My wallet. I'm gonna drop everything where it goes. In the trash, in my desk. This shirt doesn't go over here, but can you see where all my clothes are collecting? This is my hair towel. Towel. My chair. My desk. Okay, so my room is getting pretty much clean, but this next part I'll probably end up having to do a voiceover because I don't have my bathroom and I definitely don't use my brother's bathroom because it is absolutely disgusting at all times. I cleaned it the other day, but you know, anywho, um, so I use my parents' bathroom, which is in their bedroom, and my mom is currently sleeping because it's 11.10 at night. My alarm clock actually says 11 or 9. I just remember my bed, but it's 11.10. Um, but basically, next what I'm going to do, brush my teeth, wash my face, and do the voiceover for my face. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing, you know? So... Alright, so right now I'm just going to brush my teeth. I use the 3D Crest because it gets stains and stuff off your teeth and it smells really good. So, yeah. I wet the toothpaste, put it all over the toothbrush. So, I'm not putting all the toothpaste on one. I put the toothbrush on sensitive and I brush my teeth.
so I just washed off my toothbrush. Now I'm gonna dry it so you don't have I don't have water running everywhere off the toothbrush. And put the lid on it or the cap on it. Close the toothpaste. Now I'm just going to get a washcloth and I'm gonna run the water, the hot water over the washcloth, and while that's happening, I'm going to put my hair up so I can wash my face and put the acne treatment on my face. So now that the washcloth is covered in hot water, I use Dow soap to wash my face because that helps get all the oil and dirt off your face better than the smell good soap, I guess, yeah. Okay, so now I'm just washing all the soap out of my rag, again, with hot water. And once it's covered in hot water and all the soap is out, I'm going to wash off my face very aggressively, apparently. Didn't know I did it that aggressive. So now I'm going to take the St. Ives Acne Scrub and I just do a line on my fingers and I take dots and I put it on both cheeks, my forehead and my chin and I do a little bit next to my eyes because that breaks out pretty bad. Then if I have extra, which this time I didn't, I will take it and just put it in random places. I'll rub it in, get it all over my face with my fingers, wet my fingers, do it again. And then I will have, take this spin brush and I will use that all over my face because it supposedly helps the medicine work quicker and get in the pimples. I don't really know. So now I'm taking my rag with hot water on it and I'm washing the medicine off because now it's all in the pimples so I'm just going to wash it off. Um, if you get any of the, if you use the same acne stuff I do and you get any of the shells in your mouth, I suggest you get them out because they don't taste that good. Now I take a dry paper towel and I pat my face with it. I've always been to told don't scrub your face dry, pat it because then you're just spreading the oil back around and instead of getting it off. Alrighty, so I realized when I, after I finished making the my teeth and the face section of this video that I showed you like three or four months ago that I was using the St. Ives Apricot Scrub Acne Scrub um, and that like my face was clearing up tremendously. It was and it would be completely clear. But after like three weeks of doing it every morning and night, I got really lazy. And I quit doing it all together. I would do it like once a week maybe. Maybe not even that. So it broke out really bad again. I mean, it's kind of healing now because I've been doing this again for about a week. Um, so like it's kind of healing again. But this side takes longer because I sleep on this side. So there's a bunch of heat going on this side while I'm sleeping. Because I'm hot natured, so I sweat in my sleep. So like... Yeah, but it does work, and I've tried, this is the only thing that works for me, even though supposedly it makes micro tears in your skin, and opens your skin up for more acne, at least it keeps my skin clear when I keep using it, so yeah, there's that, but, um, what was I going to say? I've tried proactive, I've tried stuff from the dermatologist, I've tried the clean and clear, I just tried that and it made my face so red and it was like burning and stinging, so I quit using that. Um, but yeah, now it is currently 11.25, it did not take me, what, 25 minutes to do that, it took me 7 minutes. But I talked to my 
my uh, dad for a minute because he just got home from picking my brother up. My brother came in, went to the bathroom, walked out of the bathroom, really mad about something. I don't know what. And went to his room. So, I just talked to my dad. But, it's 11.26, so now I don't eat or drink anything because I don't want to brush my teeth again. Um, if I drink anything, it'll be like water. So, yeah. But, that's pretty much my nighttime routine. Unless I end up like... Doing something. I don't know. I will probably just end up watching some YouTube or something. And then going to sleep by like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Hopefully. Sometimes I'll stay up to like 3. But it, that's not fine. Not at all. But whatever. I should have fixed me a drink before I brush my teeth because I'm really thirsty. But it's fine. Comment down below. Okay, so everybody tries to be perfect. Like, yeah, I brush my teeth every morning and every night. Like, every single... No. Lies. We know it, too. We see you. Mm -hmm. Um, I, whenever I was little, like all kids, I would, like, hate brushing my teeth. I would tell my parents I brush my teeth. When I didn't, it was really bad. But even as I became a teenager, I wouldn't brush. This sounds really bad too. I wouldn't brush my teeth every single day, every morning, every night. I would skip a day or two. Um, so I ended up having to have four root canals on my front four teeth. But yeah, any. But now for the past like past few weeks I've been doing brushing my teeth every morning and every night and I hate not brushing them. I used to I wouldn't brush them in the morning because I was going to eat something or drink something like obviously and like it's bad with the taste of toothpaste but if you want to brush your teeth in the mornings or like you should brush your teeth before you want anything and then like wait an hour by the time the hour's up to take the taste of toothpaste is gone. It went to capiche. Um, and I just don't like anything after I brush my teeth when I go to bed. Because then it, then it just sits in your mouth all night and you're like, that's nasty. So yeah. Unless it's water. But, anywho, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for tonight. Y'all have seen my nighttime routine since like 7. It's almost 12 still like 11 30 so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe you subscribe i don't know down below question of the day is are you one of those people that say i brush my teeth every morning every night and you don't so i'm watching you i see you like you're right there i see you you're not getting away with it or you're like the perfect little human being you do everything you're supposed to, and you don't lie about it. Oops, you can kind of tell. I haven't, because like, I think they're pretty yellow in the back, but that's what I got the 3D crust for. I'll explain that in the voiceover. I will explain, I think, unless I forget it. Anyway, peace out. Talk to y'all later. Question of the day. Do you actually brush your teeth like you're supposed to? I have been. For a while now and now I hate not brushing my teeth floss I actually ran out of floss the other day which is really bad but the floss I have now is like C-R-A-P-Y floss you know write that down on a piece of paper if you don't know what that's about I'm um, like you can put it in between your teeth to clean in between your teeth and it comes apart like and you got like floss stuck in your teeth and you have to try and get it out so I'll quit using that I need to go get me some more but yeah anyhow Peace out. Talk to y'all later for the third time.